Hello all, this is a demo of a do-it-yourself DCC controller with Android application across Bluetooth. The second one I've done is the program matured. What we're going to do is take a look at the train that's running around. Let's see, this might be a little squeaky, but here's the train we're controlling. It's coming. Little N-scale uh, Atlas mogul with a Digitrax DCC decoder I added to it. Okay, over here we have the DCC controller buried in this box. Um, got power in, you got Bluetooth connection out, and you've got out to the track over here. Inside of it is an MRC uh, DCC HO controller with sound for, um, which requires a motor, so there's actually a motor running around in there to get the, the chuff sound out of it. Okay, we've got the Bluetooth over here, this is going to be a little bit out of focus because we're focused directly on the uh, Android application. Okay, and now we're going to come down here and let it find focus. Okay, let's see. Sorry for the jerkiness, this tripod leaves a little bit to be desired. Okay, so what we have with the Android application, it'll control up to 10 engines um, and you set the slot. So. If I move the engine up, see up here in the upper left, this is the parameters for engine 4 right now. It's set at speed 55, direction forward lights. Engine 4 is actually the uh, HO sound controller in the DCC controller box. Now we can do functions, we can do function selects. So you can press with function to execute, it handles up to all 28 functions. Um, we also have indexes. Uh, so you set an index to match an engine, so that's when you're shifting around in here. Uh, you'll see the like speed 51 on engine 3, speed 55 on engine 4. You can do the function set. Let's see, go back to engine 4, and we'll pick function 5. But it's kind of, there's an animation running in the background. We haven't gotten to that yet. Okay. You can program your CVs. Okay, it goes up to uh, 999. Uh, you can get set your CV data. Okay, and this is in hex. Sorry about that, but it just programmers like to talk in hex. Okay, uh, what you can do is set an index. So, like, there's in, we're on engine four right now. You see the screen is white. We'll go to engine three. Screen is white. Now engine 2 it turns all red because there's no engine uh, set for this. So what you do is uh, you pick your engine ID and then you pick uh, you do a set slot command. Now since I only have two devices here I'm not going to do it. But that would say this this slot of the 10 engines available uh, is for engine 2. So we'll go back up to engine 3. Okay. And now we'll move over to the animation page. Okay. You set animation over here. What it does is you tell it what engine ID. You can up and down your engine IDs. What function. Um, and then you can move your function up, move your function down. You tell it how long to assert the function for, how long to deassert the function for. So here we're doing function 2, which on this MRC is the whistle. Here is function 1, which is the bell. And here is function three, which is some kind of water spraying. And everybody can set, you know, time up, time down, and on and off. So if I want a lot more bells out of here, or a lot more whistles out of there, and no more bells, we can change that. And then you can enable or disable the animation. So animation's all off. We'll turn it back on again. And let's make it all bells now. These are little toast debug messages. Okay, now the bells are ringing. So it's going to ring for 10 seconds, go off for 5 seconds, ring for 4 seconds, go off for 10 seconds, ring for 5 seconds, go off for 10 seconds. Okay, come back over to here. 
We can, uh, we're on engine three, we can speed up the little engine. You probably hear it in the background. He's going faster and faster. We can goose the, the chuff, make it go faster and faster. Probably hear the engine going faster now. And let's slow down the engine so you can hear the chuff better. We'll stop the engine. We can stop that. Chuff all stops. Now only the animation is running in the background on the sound card. Start up the chuff. No engine there. And the engine's got momentum set, so it'll take a while to crank up. And that's pretty much it. With these function buttons, you can do all 28 functions with the animation. Currently in this app, uh, I have only have it up to function 8 for the animation. Um, thanks everybody for looking. Have a good day now.